Hello there, welcome to today's video. As promised, this is the Scott Antique Markets Ohio Hall. Let's get started. Okay, here we are for the very exciting haul. Um, I just took a long minute to cost average everything and I can't believe it. Um, so some of the things were like, I did feel like I paid up for them. And then some of the pieces, I felt like I got them for a heck of a steal. Um, but after cost averaging everything, um, it's about $20 a piece, which works out phenomenally. Um, even some of the pieces that I got a discount on they kind of went up to their original asking price but then some of the pieces that i felt like i paid up for that maybe might not have given me such a high margin oh my gosh helped so much with those pieces um and then kind of how i like to cost average too is i'll bundle items that i know if i cost average they just it will be worthless for me to kind of um, resell so again I mean at the end of the day it's all going to be sold and it doesn't really matter some things will take a loss and some things will be you know very high margins but just for my own like brain and how the spreadsheet looks um, I like to kind of give some things a better chance so for example if I had a, four, a set of four so after I cost average everything everything came out to be about $20 and um, each and then there are i do have some smalls so i kept a glass category of smalls together um so that was twenty dollars divided by three among those pieces and then um some lucite pieces that were twenty dollars divided by four um so five dollars a piece because i just felt like twenty dollars each was too high um and i actually that's what i paid for them $20 for all four. So that's kind of how I ca cost average. Um, uh, so obviously doing that means there are less pieces and so it the price goes up on the bigger pieces, but let, just wait till you see what I got and for that price. Um, now for traveling eight hours away, uh, this doesn't look like a lot, but after... Um, we went to Heart of Ohio and I spent a pretty penny over there. I am really, really happy with the pieces that I picked up. Um, now, did I go back in the footage and when I was uploading, I was like, should I have bought in this? Should I have bought in that? Yes. Um, but I really just wanted to pick up the very unique pieces, the pieces that I can't get a hold of here in Georgia. Everything is just so expensive and going up. So I'm very happy with my haul and I cannot wait to get started. So let's just let's just get in let's just get into it um i'm going to do the lucite pieces um here that i picked up um you guys did see me pick this up and then there were these other pieces next to it and i was like i was like looking at them and i was like yeah i'll get this one this one had seven on it this one had ten on it this one had seven on it which i thought this would glow but it did it doesn't and this one had 10 on it. So it was going to be 30, $34 for all of it. And she was like, if you want all of them, you know, just give me $20. So I was like, um, heck yeah, I'll take them for 20. So I got this green seashell. I got this pink seashell shape that has, um, abalone pieces in it. And then I got this, um, sea turtle with seashells in it. And then I got this flower one, which this one is like a spoon rest. I guess you could use it for soap as well, um, but these are definitely um, soap dishes. So I picked those up. And then this was actually the first bundle that I got, this set of four pieces that I'm about to show you. And this was like right into the door, like probably three or four booths in. And I just put a pile together and he was like do you know what this is do you know what this is this is very old and i was like yeah i do and i was like just waiting for him to hit me with an outrageous price and for the four pieces he said 50 dollars. i was like deal 
let's go um of course cost averaging um so that's like a little bit over ten dollars a piece um cost averaging took these pieces up to 20 each but still gonna do great and i'm really excited i've i stopped buying these tanala mexico pieces but i had never seen one this cool and unique um it's this hand holding a goblet it is pretty big um but i don't know i just i loved it so much and it does have some critters on it does it no actually it's just floral which i probably thought that was like i wish there was some critters on it but it was just so cool with the hand so i picked that up and then this was actually what drew me into the booth this little owl um it is signed on the bottom and then i did see somebody else pick up a piece that looks similar to this crazy lamp lady i think yesterday in an older video and she said it was um it was marked at an antique store i was like that looks familiar um so i took down the name i'm not sure if the signature is the same but i'll go back in the video and see it i just i like to to have names out especially for ebay just so that if somebody's looking for a piece there is a little tiny chip on the head right there it's focusing on my face there we go um but if you're just displaying this little cute owl i i i didn't care so i thought somebody else wouldn't care and then these oh my gosh i cannot pick these up here in georgia everybody knows how much they cost i got lucky and was able to pick up a set of three of these for i think 25 dollars for all three and i sold them for anywhere between 45 to 65 each so these do really really well um and i am so excited to have this wall pocket it is stamped on the back um made in japan no chips or cracks which is another rarity and i just love the colors so i'm super excited to have that piece and then this piece i was like oh my gosh i know what this is he just has it thrown around he's like do you know what that is it's eight from the 1800s and when he said that I was like oh god how much i really thought he was going to give me a price of like 125 or 150 for this stuff and I mean, this plate alone, if I'm being conservative, 50 to 80 maybe, um, but I know like they get up very, very high. Um, the stamp is Minton's Bombay. I have to look it up and then it is stamped Minton's. So that's the stamp right there. So very old piece. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it for myself. I originally planned on keeping it for myself, but... Um, they're just not the colors that I keep that I like to keep for plates. So I might most likely post that um, Then I did pick up this for myself. It's not marked It is the thinnest the absolute thinnest like you can see through it Like you can see my finger there like it's so thin But what I thought was so unique is that it's rounded and then it has this lip and it fits perfectly into this cup. What I am thinking it is, is maybe for airplane or for a boat. And so they just wanted that extra um, stability so that it's not, your cup is not falling off. And then also you have the ledge to put biscuits or sugar or whatever on there. That's what I'm thinking it is. I'm thinking it's a traveling set. There is a hairline crack on the inside, but again, I'm not selling it. Just absolute, the details is just absolutely the most delicate thing you've ever seen. Um, it's just incredible. It definitely is Asian. Um, so unique. I've never in my life seen something like it, so I did pick that up for me. Um... Okay, I'm just going to keep going along because I, I want to do like save the best for last, but it's all so good that I just, I can't. This was an absolute steal. She had 22 on it. I actually paid 18, but with the cost averaging, um, it came up to 20. I was like, is this real life? Look at this tea light, you guys. Look at this tea light. The details on it. It's just absolutely stunning. Again, I don't like to promote my eBay, 
But if you guys are not interested in buying any of this stuff, please just check out my eBay listings just to see the details of the pictures that I'm going to be putting up of these items. This is probably my favorite piece that I bought right here. Um, it's just, I'm just speechless. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it is signed on the bottom, Tom Trothween. And there's another something stamp there. Sally. Um, she did have three other pieces by him, but I just wasn't really feeling it. They were like floral. Um, and it was like a trinket box on on feet you guys saw in the video and then like a smaller trinket box like a pill box i wasn't too excited about it but this was just absolutely stunning this goldfish and again just check out my pictures on ebay for the details and then i, I like threw the the light the candle and she was like don't forget the candle and i'm like i don't care about the candle i just love this thing so much so Fairy light, check, hand painted, check, pottery, check. I'm just, I'm so excited about that piece. It's, it, it probably is my favorite piece that I bought. Um, going along with the Lucite, I did pick up this flower piece on a whim. We'll see how it does. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Lucite. I'm not really sure of the age. There was a sticker there, but it's not there anymore. Not sure if it's Japanese or American, most likely. American. She did have a blue one with smaller flowers, but I, but I wasn't really um, feeling that one as much. And this is going to be an experiment for me because I don't know how these sell. So um, we'll kind of figure it out together. Um, another very unique Murano piece. He did me a deal on this. He had 45 on it, which is a bit high for these bowls. But um, he said, what about 30? And I was gonna offer him, offer him 35, but that's the reason why I don't like to offer. I just like to say, what can you do on this? And then go from there. So I said, what can you do on this? And he said, what about 30? And I was like, deal. But then with the cost averaging, it worked out to be even less at 20. So that works. It does need some dusting, but just look how cool that is. Again, I feel like camera, the camera is not doing it justice with how beautiful it is. The colors are very, very popping. Um, and it's, I don't know, I've never seen one like this, so really excited about that piece. Um, I paid up for these, um, but then again, with the cost averaging, it helped me out, it helped me out. I paid $100 for the pair, um, but at $20, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, one is better than the other when I look them up. Um, these head vases again it was one of those things where I just I can't buy them here because everybody knows what they are um, this one is Napco which I was hoping this one was Napco because if this one was Napco we're looking at 150 but it's actually Rubens which is still pretty good no chips or cracks has all of her jewelries has her eyelashes she is hand painted um, so it's Rubens so I'm looking at 75 for her and then for this one, this one is Napco, and Napco is what you want with the head vases. I'm learning. You want her hands intact. She is missing an earring, but just in the excitement of things, I was like, I don't care, I'll take it. Um, so this one we are pretty much looking at um, 30 to 50 on it, which is not that great, but I'm, I'm glad I have her. So um, we'll see how she does. This next, um, Boo, this next set of items was all from the same booth. I just, I kept coming back to this shell. I'm tr I'm trying not to buy pottery. I have so much pottery. It is selling for me, but I just have so much of it that I feel like it's not selling fast enough. Um, I But I just, I don't know. Uh, Deborah Swagger is the, um, is the artist. It is signed, Deborah Swagger, and then here's her card. Hand-thrown porcelain out of Alexandria, Virginia. Um, and I, I just, I kept coming back to it. It's so thin, there's no chips or cracks. Um, it just felt, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I kept coming back to it. It doesn't look like pottery, it does look like a seashell. Um, beautiful signature on the bottom. So it was one of those pieces where I was like, I just, I keep going back to it, so I'm gonna pick it up. And then same booth, I picked up these pieces. This is a Lennox 
um, black glass um, cat. Really cute. It does have the sticker on the bottom, Lennox. And then I picked up this pottery, this pottery cat. It's not signed, but just look how cute he is. Let's see if it'll focus for you. There we go. Cute little pottery cat. And then I picked up these glass balls. I want to say they're Murano. I've seen them before. Um, so I picked these up and I'm probably just going to put them all in a lot together for somebody to do something with. So I have this one. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And then three of the same of these round ones. Focus, there we go. So three of those. So those are probably all gonna go in a lot together. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. I just felt like I wanna have them and save them and somebody can do a little project with them. Um, this is probably, if I were a glass collector, I don't collect glass. If I were a glass collector, I would keep this space for myself. You know what? It's probably going to live up on my fridge just so that I can keep looking at it until it sells. It is signed. Um, the signature is very abstract. It's just a house. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it in there? It's literally just a house with like, it looks like flames and it says 2008. So almost vintage. It's almost like this crackle stretch glass. I don't know what kind of glass you call this. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's kind of, it does kind of look stretched. And then this rim, I don't know. I just thought it was amazing. Um, they had 60 on it. I was like, what can you do? I was hoping he would say 45, but he said 50. I was like, I don't care. Like it was one of those where I was like, I can't put it back like whatever price he tells me I can't put it back so with the cost averaging it helped me out at 20 I, I, again I just I'm happy that it's in my possession and then I'm gonna have to let it go I don't want to but I'm gonna have to because I don't have it I don't have a use for it so it's so beautiful though so I love 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 that piece um another one of those items where I can't buy here um I'm sorry if I keep looking up you guys are down here. My screen is up here. I'll get it together at some point. I can't buy pixies. Everybody knows what they are. Look at this cool, cool platter. Like, just so cool. Um, it's signed on the back. It is a hobbyist piece, but it is signed on the back. Boomer 1967. There is some chipping right here, but just look how cool that is. Like a survey platter. And I don't know, I might be too young, but the guy was like, you need to sell, you put your brownies on that. Cause you know, I was like, what do you, why brownies? And he's like, those are called brownies. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. And I still don't know what that means. Am I too young for that joke? I don't know. Am I missing something? I kind of feel like it's dirty, but I don't know. Anyways, um, this next batch is all from the same booth. Probably keeping this for myself. Um, Holland Gouda. My husband spotted this one. Um, I do collect Holland Gouda, especially this pattern. Um, I was going to look it up to see how much it'll go for. Um, but now at $20, I don't think I can get more than $20 for it. These were so cool. Um... As I was unpacking them, I did find a little baby mini mini chip on the base. Like it's not even up on the rim, it's on the base. But they're just so pretty and I think even if I did see the chip, I would have still picked them up. They they were $2 each, so this is this is one of those where the cost averaging did not help me. Um but just look how detailed. I really hope it's going to focus. There we go. Look how detailed. Again, please go check the pictures out that I'm gonna have of these. They do need a good clean. Um, 
I mean, they've never been through the dishwasher, so that's amazing. I hope nobody ever puts them through the dishwasher. The paint is so cool. And with them being different, my husband was like, they're different. I was like, I don't care. I'm selling them together. They're the same cup. They have that gold um, rim. And somebody painted them. And they're beautiful. And then this just, okay, I, I could have gone crazy in this guy's booth, literally. I could have just gone crazy. His prices were so good. But again, I can never buy stretch glass. And this one just kept calling me back and calling me back and calling me back. So I think it is flash and it's most likely like carnival glass. But he said, I've personally had this bowl for over 20 years. Um, he's like, it's very old. I've personally had it in my house with fruit in it for over 20 years. Um, and I bought it at an antique store before that. He had 38 on it. Um, he gave me a deal on everything, but um, I think I paid 35 in his booth with everything. So the Gouda had six on it and those were $2 each and this was 38 and I think I paid him. No, I think I paid him 40 for everything. Yeah, I think I paid him 40 for everything. So I don't know, I just, I kept coming back to this piece. Again, camera not doing it justice. It's absolutely gorgeous. The stretch glass is so prominent in it. So I don't know, I'm excited. That That's one of the pieces where I know I don't collect it. I can appreciate it and I can't wait for it to go to its new home kind of thing and then last two pieces um last two pieces this was just so cool to me they have it as a paperweight um i can't see any signatures but i might find one when i get under the black light i just thought it was the coolest thing ever i feel so sad that camera is not doing these pieces justice but it's like a flat, it is heavy, um, and it just has so many like different things going on inside. It's just so cool. She made me a deal on this. So this one was 20 and this one was 23. This is, the, the, it's probably a tie between the tea light and this as my favorite and the glass bowl, the top three. Let's just say top three. Glass bowl, this, and tea light. Um, so this was 23 and this one was 20. Again, very cheap, but I was like, what can you do? And she was like 40 and then it works out that they are $20 each. Um, this is an incredible piece, incredible piece. And I can't believe that she had it originally priced for 23. Um, Shafford wear, Japan, um, Maso, Shafford, Japan, just, I really cannot wait to see what comes up with this piece. Um, again, I wish I collected it. I kind of have a collection of it now that needs to be listed. Um, but I just know that whoever collects these, this is going to be a great buy. Like, it's just absolutely stunning. Like, I'm just going to leave it here for a second. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy with this. The Moriage is intact. There is no, by the way, Moriage is this raised. It's almost like clay on top of the ceramic plate. And then they color it. Um, I, re I recently, um, I was at a Treasure Mart here in Chamberlain, Georgia. And one of the ladies in there is Japanese. And she said she learned how to do this. And she said, it's very difficult. It's not just slapping on um, the material onto the plates. She said it's very difficult. It's years of training. Sorry, I just, I love it. I just, that was like a long, anyways, I love it. That's everything I got from Scott, um, in Ohio. Again, this, to me, this is quality over quantity. I am so happy and I'm so excited. And this is the feeling that I want to have because this is the feeling that's going to allow me to be excited to list these things. So for sure, these things are going up this week. Um, it is now today, Saturday. You're going to see this video today. Um, I was supposed to film it yesterday, but you know, life happens. Um, so you will be seeing this video live today. Um, 
it's family day. We have church later today. We have church tomorrow. So give me some time, but these things will definitely be up on my eBay next week for sure because I'm just so excited to get through them. Um, but yeah, oh, how could I forgot? <laughs> these, these are pieces that I'm keeping for myself. Um, I found these two um, micro mosaics. You guys know I collect those. And then this one was very unique from another lady. And then I got this whole bag, this whole entire bag of earrings for $8. One, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings for $8. Um, I got these enamel ones. Is it focusing? And then I got these two pottery ones and they are signed. So these are pottery and they are signed. And then I got these very retro, they are vintage. I just, maybe 70s, 60s, 80s. So cool and they looked so good on me. Like I wasn't really sure about the style but they look so good. And then these pottery ones, they're hand painted. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Yeah, so these are not for sale, these are mine. Um, all of them, all the, the jewelry pottery hand painted so cool I love those so that that's everything that I got for me um, along with the Holland and then yeah I think that's it oh and the teacup but yeah hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you have any information about anything that I've shown today as always please open it up in the chat. Let's talk about it. Let me know what your favorite piece was and I will see you next week for more catching up and more Ohio content. So I cannot wait to show you what we got um, at uh, Heart of Ohio and for you guys to see shopping there. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.